still might be. All right. Hello, hello. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> hello. I'm, I just meowed. Oh. <laughs> Nothing's new here. Look, like, we're, we're not overly serious on this stream. And it no. shows some days. Um, <laughs> Does. As evidenced by the entire stream, we sat there talking about boob armor on the judge. <laughs> yes. That's uh. the best conversation ever. Yeah. Uh, so we're back on the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, and it's been a while. And also, um, I need to look up what the... Um, Let's see. We are on the adventure of the Unbreakable Speckled Band, and let me just say the titles of this one are horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Who made these up? Like, I'm missing our turnabout shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> because as I'm typing yeah. these out on, you know, like YouTube and Twitch, it's like, this is awful. Um, <laughs> this hell alone. Uh, but it's been like ages since we played this, um, or maybe been. it just feels like it. Like I've had a hell of a couple weeks. Um, <laughs> it's been eighty-four years. <laughs> oh my! Uh, I felt that. No, it's like we had. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. Like I, uh, I had my computer shit mm -hmm. problems. Yep. <laughs> Shitty computer problems. So I guess you've been like in, but I think it's throwing you off because you've been doing dang and rump a death mark. Yeah. Turned about whatever. Yeah, like... and then we skipped a stream because I was traveling. Yeah. So yeah, so I think we've just... just basically been swapping between the two of you. It's been a while. Yeah. The gang's finally back all together. Um... <laughs> yeah, and then I'll have to skip the next two Thursdays. So that'll be fun. How could you betray me like this? <laughs> How could this happen to me? Listen, I am not the one who scheduled the thing that I have to do on each Thursday. But I have to be there. Okay, I know you like us better. <laughs> <laughs> True. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and do our recap before we go too far into this. Um, so, <laughs> Kazuma decided to sneak us past customs in his luggage like a pet and brought us along as on a stove. Uh, brought on the. This is re going real great today, guys. Um, <laughs> we're, we're strong start. Yeah, great. Yeah. We're doing great. Um, and brought us along as a stowaway on his trip to England aboard the SS Buria. After two weeks of hiding in his closet and feeding off the chicken he didn't want to eat, we were discovered and handcuffed under suspicion of murder again. And I know that I put this in the uh, comments of one of the YouTube videos, but also, like, if we had a nickel for every time we've been accused of murder... We'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice already. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> That's weird. Um, since Katsuma's body is on the floor of his locked room and we were found in his closet, everyone thinks that we did it. Uh, our other clues include the vent to the room next door, the Russian word garderob, um, and I just 100% butchered that. So if there is anyone that speaks Russian watching the stream or the video later or is on this call please take this as my <laughs> profound apologies um <laughs> i don't know how to rush and i was making stuff up the other day i mean yeah i mean <laughs> right next... i should learn how to say hello in russian and just say hello every time i didn't realize we were going word. to need to be polyglots for <laughs> this stream um <laughs> right uh... right so the Russian word is written next to Kazuma's hand in ink. There's some broken glassware and our dinner on the floor and an incomplete diary entry mentioning a speckled band, which those who are familiar with the Holmes canon will know that the speckled band was a snake, but the opening narration by Wilson spoils that fact for the player just in case they haven't read it. Further complicating our investigation is the presence of Arsan Lupin's nemesis, Herlock Sholmes, uh, whose colorblindness is so much worse than Godot's that he deduced we are the Russian revolutionary Vilim Borshevik. Uh, Inspector Ho is also here as a sailor under Judge Dugosku's orders to fail to protect Kazuma from assassination. Our drug hallucinations, Sailor Ho's incompetence, and Detective Sholmes' ADHD have transformed the boat into a negative zone that is nullifying Susato's entire brain cells. She's letting us investigate, but she is still sus of us and will not hesitate to Susato take down us upside down at literally any given moment. We're already at four. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's very hot. So, uh, that was the recap. Are we ready to kick off and see where this leads us? 
Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. How many more times do you think we're going to end up on the floor? Um, <laughs> a lot. So many. All right. So I think now, aha, we can move. Okay. So Ooh. let's go to the first class passageway. Do not remember who I am. You are Susato. I remember that at least. Okay. That was the detail too. Yes. <laughs> All right, 9th January, 7.48 a.m., SS Buria, first class cabin passageway. <sighs> I'm finally out of that cabin. Yeah, that's right, I haven't left in two weeks and I came here in a suitcase, so. Mm -hmm. it's good. <laughs> I have to admit, this isn't quite what I was expecting. It's less uh, spacious out here than I thought it would be, and this is the most luxurious accommodation. Yes, indeed. She doesn't know she wants to talk to you. <laughs> uh, Kazuma-sama was being sent uh, on this study tour by the government. And they cheap. Never yeah, mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he was being put up in a first-class cabin. <laughs> I see a mouse trap in the corner and immediately want the cheese. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong. Uh, I did have a cheese snack when I got home from work today. Ooh. Highly mm -hmm. would recommend. Are we talking string like... Cheese? Yeah, string cheese or like the little baby bell things or like what kind of cheese snack are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> now this uh, is a conversation. <laughs> God, okay. Um, it's uh, Tillamook. Uh -huh. It's like a little baby block of cheese. Ooh. Of the cheddar. And Tillamook cheese. is very good cheese. Yes, Tillamook is my favorite. They also make very good ice cream, too. Um. <laughs> Super good ice cream. I fucking love Tillamook. That's one of the things that it's like I I know I would struggle if I ever moved out of the Pacific Northwest is uh, no Umqua and no Tillamook. Because um, yeah, yeah. those are our two biggest uh, dairy producers in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember so. going... I, I don't remember whether it was to Tillamook or Umqua, but I have actually been to like their... Like the place where they make their cheese and ice cream. Um, That's cool. Yeah, because it's not Field trip. that far. It's like I think it's like Salem area. It's not that. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't that far from Eugene. So yeah, um, yeah. But it's very good stuff. You can still get the cheese here, but I don't think I've ever seen like Tillamook ice cream. I could be wrong. Mm. I don't spend a lot of time in the ice cream aisle because uh, ice cream is not particularly healthy for you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. Uh, look, that's like a special occasion kind of food. Uh <laughs> nah, oh, no. I just bought myself some more ice cream today on my way home. <laughs> I support an this ice choice. Cream uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my I consume, only addiction. <laughs> I consume way much or way much more. So much more dairy than I'm meant to. <laughs> It's like people drink and then there's me. I, I'm addicted <laughs> to ice cream. <laughs> anyway, oh, enough dude. of our addictions. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed your cheese snack. Uh <laughs> Tell us, what's your favorite ice cream flavor in the comments? Yeah. Uh yeah. <laughs> Let me just My say, like, if, you, anyway. if you do get uh, Tillamook ice cream... The uh, what I think it's the Tillamook mudslide is my mm -hmm. favorite. I love that. Um. I will say, and we should probably, you know, maybe get back to stream. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> I do like Umqua, Umqua's ice cream better. I do like Tillamook ice cream, mm -hmm. but I usually go for Umqua. <laughs> and I think like hell yeah, chat strawberries were that anyway, dude. <laughs> Rad. I fucking love strawberry ice cream. <laughs> I will say, I think Tillamook does better with chocolate. And I know that you're not a chocolate person. Um, no. But Umqua has, like, better vanilla. Um, I'm very yeah. boring with my ice cream flavors. Like, it's vanilla, some, ch like, variation of chocolate, or green tea. And that's, like, Dang. the range I go. <laughs> See, my favorite um, is the Cherry Bordeaux. I could literally uh, eat the whole, like, <laughs> carton in one sitting. Maybe I'm I'll have so, to find some. <laughs> I'm so a good. weirdo. It's like, I, I, I try weird-ass flavors. Like, for me, like, there was this one, like, 
it was like cotton candy ish bubblegum that was called Unicorn Tracks. And then I also like Rose Jam and um and uh, matcha and yeah, strawberry and vanilla. Sometimes chocolate, but it's just I have to be in the mood. Yeah. Feel that. Anyway. I I love a good chocolate ice cream, but it's gotta have like chocolate chunks in it. Yeah, Mm. I only do cookies and cream. Cookies and cream is okay. (laughs) <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> wow, we went on a tangent. <sighs> it's Ever okay. Had corn and cheese ice cream. Corn and cheese. I've had corn See, and ice cream. Like I've, I've had corn, but not corn. See, that would be something that I would be okay with getting like a scoop of to try. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, with the exception of things that you know I know don't like me or that I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty open to trying things. Mm-hmm. At least, you know, a bite. That sounds intriguing. Mm-hmm. Let's do an ice cream tasting stream. At what- I no, know, I like, <laughs> what is it? Like a mukbang or something? Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll just sit here and eat ice cream. Um, <laughs> That's what we could do for our, uh, whatever we do Get that one where we share we go. our faces. <laughs> we just all bring our favorite ice creams. Perfect. <laughs> um- <laughs> Ice cream and face reveal. Exactly. Like there we go. Any of us on social media, you already know what we look like. Yeah, really. <laughs> Especially me. Uh, <laughs> anywho, uh, <laughs> even still, this is about twice as large as my accommodation in steerage. Really? That must be awful. Oh, uh, look over there. That's another crewman keeping watch. And. He looks enormous, even if he is sitting down. Yeah, that's a big man. Oh, excuse me. The door, the door next to him leads to the second class accommodation. I suppose he's making sure that no one comes in here who shouldn't. I suppose. Like, people in handcuffs? <laughs> yeah, maybe you don't flaunt those. <laughs> <laughs> Not hodo san You look like a little boy... <laughs> Visiting a toy shop for the first time. This is the first time I've gotten to leave the wardrobe in two weeks. <laughs> Girl. Yeah. Um, I would have thought you'd be used to the ship by now. We've been at sea for two weeks already. Well, yeah, I know. But the thing is, I was inside Kazuma's trunk when I first came aboard. And ever since then, I've been shut up inside that little wardrobe. Oh, that's right. How <laughs> so unfortunate for you. Yeah. You, man. Uh. Uh, it must have been very trying, a very trying time for you. Please. Oh, look, she's nice to us again. Yeah, don't give me that pitying look. Besides, this just gave me motive. I wanted to get out of the uh, the room. Um, <laughs> so I murdered the man for his accommodations. Um, I wanted to get out of the closet. <laughs> I killed him. Exactly. That's a huge book on top of the table there. And there's a pen next to it. Pen of justice. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, that looks like the ship's log. Shall we have a little look through it? The, the writing is so neat and precise. Every detail about the voyage has been meticulously recorded. Hmm. You wouldn't expect a rough and ready sailor to have such beautiful handwriting. That's rude. And nothing. No reaction at all. I thought I might appreciate the compliment. It was kind of a backhanded one. As usual. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that rough and ready... Is much of a compliment, not our Hodo son, even to a sailor. Uh, anyway, last night's log is mostly blank. Presumably, that means there was nothing to report. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? Oh, hello. Um, mm. <laughs> excuse me, but could I ask you something? Is he blushing? <laughs> no, he's got like 
It, it looks like he's sunburned in stripes across his, his face. Right. That, I was like, did he get slapped by a chancla? What's going on? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what left that mark on this uh, man. Anyway. A makeup choice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. He has a beauty guru. Very specific. Anyway. Um, you. You little stowaway murderer. Uh, that wasn't a good start, was it? <laughs> his face is stripes like he had a sunburn after having a speckled band around his head. <laughs> Big time. Um, he does have, if you look at his, for closer at his tan, it is striped as well. Um, all right, let me try instead. Okay. <laughs> See, look at the stripes on his face. <laughs> uh, good day, Mr. Sailor. I'm so sorry to trouble you, but could I perhaps ask something of you? You, you little third class lady maid. Excuse mm. you. Oh, bitch. Rude as fuck. I'm gonna fight him. Yes, let's fight him. Oh. We seem to have caught the sailor on a bad day, Sisata san. <laughs> he's since he's striped as Tony the Tiger. <laughs> uh, God damn it! I knew I'm it. Not, I'm not sailor. My mother gave me a name. Oh, that's it's sailor. not me. No, no, I am not sailor. That's why I was My like, why did she say that? Oh, it's okay. Jesus. You're over here talking about Tony the Tyler the Tiger, and I'm like, do I ask what everyone's favorite cereal is now? Get us off on another tangent. Know. Fruit Loops. Yeah. Uh, that Kellogg's with the strawberries in it. The special, special K, K with strawberries? Special K, yeah. <laughs> special K, let's go! You guys are so interesting. Like, I'm so boring with my Cheerios. <laughs> but, like, so, never with you... milk and always in, like, an entire handful. Although, okay, this is going to sound really weird, guys. I don't know if this is just a me <laughs> thing, but, like... Okay, the, the, the strawberries in the Special K sometimes... Tastes like blood to me. Oh my god. Like, they're they have, still your favorite. <laughs> they have such an irony taste. Yeah. To it I... Sometimes. I don't know if it's because of it's a preserved strawberry or whatever, but I'm like, hmm, tastes like blood. Okay, let's go. And this is your favorite? Just like yes. double check in this. Um, yes, this <laughs> is, is there something favorite. you'd like us to tell? Like to tell us? Um, <laughs> I'm a vampire. <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to have to do like a every stream like I'm not a vampire disclaimer now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> anyway, I am senior. Senor, Senor Kruven, Bill Stroganov. I think that's supposed to be Beef Stroganov. Beef Stroganov. <laughs> beef Stroganov. <laughs> beef Stroganov. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Beef. The best thing is to just avoid eye contact, I think. Oh, okay, we can actually ask him questions. Um, Mr. Stroganov, um, about this first-class cabin area... Here we have the, fi the finest part of Buria's steamship for very important persons. Uh, what sort of very important persons? Government officials, king and queen's travel in secret, very important persons. That is why I am always guarding the place. Gosh, that's amazing. But somehow, I let stupid stowaway inside. Yeah, yeah, clearly you need to start searching all the luggage. Yep. Also, I, I thought he had a fish on as his tie because of the <laughs> uh, little... I don't know if that's a pin or what it is. It looks like a yeah, tie. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a it does fish. does look like it's a fish. <laughs> oh, I had a full-on staring contest with that thing for a second. <laughs> <laughs> True. Assuming that the reason he has trash is because of the snake, perhaps the mousetrap was placed to catch food for the snake. <laughs> Makes sense. The snake. The snake. I want to pick up and throw you in the ocean, but strong enough is not the animal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird conversation. 
if I may, Mr. Beef, um, <laughs> Beef. <laughs> is the cabin Mr. next Beef. to Mr. Asiogi? Ase- Mr. Asogi. Asogi. God, it's been like 10,000 years. Uh, <laughs> currently <laughs> occupied? Yeah, but. I think that's da. 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 Um, Sisato san, did you understand that? It sounded like da. Ha, I can read one letter. (laughs) I think it's probably Russian for yes or no. Girl. I think it's both. (laughs) Genius. It's all context. (laughs) It's like aloha. (laughs) Anyway. It is not permitted to visit other cabins without invitation. Huh? But I got in through a suitcase, so... Yeah. Well, it Listen, sounds... Security is not good on this Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like there is somebody in the next door cabin, at least. Yes. It's tantalizing. Hi, Leia. Girl. Hmm. Right, I will be him. using this metal detector to inspect all luggage going forward. <laughs> My metal detector has found bullet in your shoulder. Yeah, really. Uh, could you tell us who's traveling in the cabin next to Mr. Asagi's? Dot, dot, dot. His name is Mr. Grimsley Roylot. He is a very important Western gentleman. Of course he is. A Western gentleman? Duh. Do not think about it. He has nothing to do with the murder of student boy. How can you be so sure about that? Mr. Roylot is authentic western gentleman. Such a man would not have interest in lonely student from the insignificant Far East Islands. (laughs) That was harsh. Rude. Rude. The bitch. (laughs) Can you tell us what Mr. Rylet came, uh, when Mr. Rylet came aboard? It is not your business. Come to think of it, even though we've been at sea for two weeks now, and I've been in Kazuma's cabin the entire time, I've never once heard anything from the next door cabin, or even felt like there's anyone there. Suspicious. Sus. Hello, sus. <laughs> Well, presumably, since this gentleman is occupying one of the first-class cabins, he must be rather important. Is that right? Either that or just has a lot of money. (laughs) Just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean you're important. Exactly. Be at this none of your beeswax. (laughs) (laughs) We're putting some spin on localization here. Um, Yes. Um, are you on watch here all the time? Demon Stroganoff? Like, that is the worst way to say that. I cannot Ew. believe I just had to say that. <laughs> I hated that. I hate it here. <laughs> and you didn't even have to say it. Um, <laughs> I, did, I had to hear it with my own two ears, though. So we're all suffering at d- different degrees. Yes. <laughs> This is a family show. No, it's not. But <laughs> no, it ain't. This it's is Barbara, very you know? much not. The <gasps> old time, so criminals like you cannot come in or get out. How did that work out for you? Not very well. <laughs> I wonder. Could you tell us anything about last night at all? Last Friday night. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> Is it said about student boy? Were you on watch last night as well? I of, uh, of course. And did it... you notice anything at the time, Beef Boy? Anything uh... unusual? Well, here. Yes. I do remember that too. Um, is that the song? Do you understand that? It was clearly a no. Or a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw nothing unusual. Nothing at all. 
And you didn't hear any strange noises or sense anything was wrong in some way. Or maybe saw a snake. Yeah. Oh, oh no. So that means Sailor Ho should actually be referred to as Seaman Ho. Ew. Uh, That's even worse. <laughs> anyway, um, I said no. Sorry. I do not feel comfortable with the vibe in this chilies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure. I could have sworn that he wouldn't catch my eye for a moment there. This is enough. I cannot say more now. Oh. Okay, bye. It is time for me to report to Captain. You must return to cabin. Yeah, all right. It yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Full kid to second class area is staying locked at all times. You escape when the lobster whistles on the top of the mountain. Or as English say, when the pigs fly. I'm going to start saying that when the, wa when the lobster whistles on top of the mountain. Um, <laughs> Let's make it a thing. Exactly. A thing now. Yes, I understand. Hey, Susano, Very let's good. Sneak out. Very good, tiny boy. Good. Now we can investigate this area properly, shall we? Definitely. All right. So he mentioned. I want to take a look at the log again, because now we know kind of who we're looking at. Um, that book on the top of the table there is really huge. There's a pen with it too. Blah blah blah. Shall we have a little look? See anything new? Writing's neat and precise. Wait. We're gonna do our backhanded compliment. We're so Last nice. Blank. Nothing to report. Okay. Last Friday night, <laughs> there was body on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You are talking about the love of my life here. <laughs> I am sorry, small boy. Uh, Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Been like a month, but too soon. Uh, too soon. Uh, <laughs> look, like, I just wanted to smash once, and instead he, like, put me in a closet. So there's some sort of homophobia here, and I don't know where it's at. But... <laughs> we do not stand the homophobia. <laughs> Do not spin. Uh, this looks like a plan of the SS Buria. It shows each deck. It shows each deck. Look. Oh, woo. The Buria is large. Is large scale steamship. <laughs> uh, with a triple skin. Skin hole? What a marvel of engineering. Sometimes, uh, this happens to me on Discord too, but, uh, Right now, my screen is very fuzzy, so if I'm not reading words correctly, it's because I can kind of read them. Okay, fun. I don't. <laughs> it'll go back to normal in a minute. I don't. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the connection. So yeah. I really don't think there's anything that we can do to fix it. Yeah. But uh. Well, it's actually been playing on my mind for a while now. But how is it that such a huge lump of metal doesn't just sink to the bottom of the ocean? Oh, that's really quite simple, Naruhoto san. It is. Let's see, I know the science behind this, and it really kind of is. <laughs> uh, well, consider the Japanese archipelago. The islands of Japan? The archipelago. <laughs> you heard me the first time. Bitch. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> I need you to break it down to fifth grade level. Um. <laughs> Uh, yes, they're not metal, but they are enormous lumps of earth, many, many times larger than this ship. Are you implying that these islands are floating? That's what I'm wondering. Well, <laughs> that's not how islands work. <laughs> she tried. She has girl, to oh girl, <laughs> what? And they don't sink, do they? Oh God, they've been floating happily on the sea since the god created them. The gods created them. Excuse me. What? I mean, like it's taking a step back. I don't know when it was when it was realized that you know, like islands are made of volcanoes. So maybe we're just not there scientifically yet. 
but damn. Uh. Um, <laughs> well, I suppose so. Like, I am just fascinated by this idea that um, we just thought that islands were floating around. Because how did we justify that the islands don't float away from each other? Right? Okay, now we gotta go get the cheese. Friendship. There we go. <laughs> this is Japan. We didn't like each other. <laughs> ah, a trap for catching mice. Yeah, we have plenty of those back home in Japan. Although, they seem to be using a lump of chalk or something as bait. Who ate the cheese? <laughs> person. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Yes. I think that's what is called cheese. It's made from milk of cows. Cheese? I wonder what that tastes like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot, you know, I, I've grown up in a very cheese-based culture, and I forget that that's not how everyone yeah. <laughs> grows up. Yeah. So I just the fact that they don't know what cheese is is... <laughs> Weird to me, but you know what? <laughs> cheese was like an imported thing, right? Yeah, or... I mean, well, so yeah. you have to kind of think about how little space Japan actually has. Um, and with, like, cows especially, apparently, you need large amounts of flat land. Yep. And because our flat land is usually made, like, it's allocated for rice patties because rice is going to fill your belly a lot faster than, like, meat is. Um we don't Ooh. have a lot of cows just in general, which is why, like, beef is super expensive. Um, it's mm -hmm. also very high quality in Japan, but... Fuck you! Yeah, well, I get... Also, Chad is like, what did Japanese mousetraps use, if not cheese? <laughs> I mean... Corn? I don't know! Uh, Other I guys? would assume, like, fruit, vegetables, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff, you know? Like, mice will eat just about anything, so... Yeah. We have a mouse in our garage that ate through our uh, top ramen. Fun. So, dried top ramen is on that list. And, <laughs> I mean, like, granted, you know, like, top ramen wasn't quite a thing yet, but, you know, like, but, you we know, did like have the, noodles. The, bo the bones of what top ramen is now. Yeah. The bones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, literally, I'm pretty sure you could Kind of put anything on a mouse trap and mouse would go to it. Um, <laughs> in Mother Russia, <laughs> in Mother Russia, we put you on mouse trap. Uh, mouse trap, trap you. <laughs> there we Sorry. go. Sorry, you can't, you can't eat it, Naruhoto san. The trap will snap shut on your fingers. Really? But, uh, I suppose you're right. Oh, sorry. Um, you weren't actually going to try it, were you? All I've had to eat for the past couple of weeks is Kazuma's leftovers. You don't know how hungry I've been in that wardrobe. Poor you. I'll find a little snack for you later. You're my favorite. <laughs> hey. First class cabin number one. Yeah, that's our cabin. Not our cabin. It's Kasumasama's. He willed it to me in event of his death. <laughs> Sorry? Your accommodation is confined to the wardrobe inside the cabin. You know how to make a stowaway feel small, don't you? As small as the wardrobe I've been calling home. <laughs> oh, shit. That's sad. Okay. These cabins are the finest on the ship. My own cabin in, in steerage is number 539, by the way. Okay, I have to ask, isn't steerage a word that you use for, like, cattle? Or am I just completely wrong on that? Uh, if I'm remembering watching Titanic correctly, <laughs> uh, it's like the, like, steerage would be, like, really, really low on the ship. So mm -hmm. most likely there's no windows um, in your quarters. Mm-hmm. 
So it's like really low level. Like you didn't get on the lifeboat. <laughs> class oh. you know i think i could be wrong but that's what i'm remembering from titan yeah. <laughs> like maybe it's just because it's got the word steer in it and like yeah steer cow like i'm just like making connections that aren't there but <laughs> like that's i mean what it makes yeah me i, I totally um, <laughs> i totally see where you're making the connection though <sighs> but i think it's because it's like you know you steer the boat and it's near the stuff that steers the boat. Uh, okay, that probably makes more sense. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I make shit up all the time, so... <laughs> we could be being lied to. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, someone is it's going to look it up on Wikipedia. It's not a lie if I don't know it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and go, you both are wrong. Um... <laughs> 500 and... How many cabins are there? Damn. Apparently we're not going to answer that question. Nope. Uh, what do you think this is? It's a very pleasing shape, isn't it? That's the emergency alarm. It's probably best not to touch it. Oh, an alarm. Touch it anyway. No. <laughs> it says press only in times of emergency. I mean, there's a dead guy, so let me press it. I'm hungry. Press yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. Damn. It looks as though it sets alarm bells ringing all over the ship and brings the vessel to a complete stop. That's a very powerful alarm. Yeah. Oh, this also, I have to why... see. <laughs> <laughs> also, why would an alarm that literally anyone could trigger stop the ship? I don't think that's <laughs> a thing that it does. Um, yeah, that's actually... Sorry, I was just reading... Um, Asians living near the equator were closer to the sun, thus had more exposure to sunlight to produce vitamin D compared to Europeans who got their vitamin D from milk. Also, uh, didn't need to evolve the, to tolerate dairy compared to Europeans. That's why so many Asians are lactose intolerant. Yeah, we do have a lot of lactose intolerant people. Which I assume it's is... actually... Oh. I was just going to say, like, it actually is more natural for someone to be lactose intolerant because no other species continues to consume milk-based products after, like, their, like, infancy childhood. Like, early childhood I mean, age. cheese is good, though. Cheese yeah. is very good, but we are meant <laughs> to be lactose and all of it. <laughs> it's kind of, it's hurts <laughs> Listen, as someone who consumes way too much dairy... Oh, my God. I remember the first time I got a facial... Um, I was told that I needed to stop eating cheese because my pores were huge. And I was like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I love that response. I was like 18 <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to fucking deck this bitch. <laughs> like, I can do what I want. <laughs> like, I'm going to eat as much cheese as I damn well please. Anyway, that's yeah. Exactly. Um, uh, what are you doing, Naruhoto-san? You mustn't touch it. But this is an emergency situation. Just look at these handcuffs. Uh, hands on the hips. She's going to get you. <laughs> like, you know full well that's not what the alarm is for. Bitch. Uh, if you were to bring the vessel to a standstill for no good reason, you'd be, a, <laughs> you'd be in an even worse situation. Huh. I wish everything would just stop. The ship included. <laughs> Feel that. If you have to do something foolish, at least make it something that doesn't affect anyone else. Foolish fool. <laughs> A foolishly foolish fool who only does foolishly foolish things. And <laughs> oh, I miss. So her. you can tell who. So you can tell who's played Francesca yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. I miss playing Francesca. Um... <laughs> this is it. This is the cabin next to ours. The one the ventilator connects to. My brain went, the final counting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. The ventilator from which Kazuma-sama wrote that he saw a speckled van emerging. Maybe whoever's in this cabin can help solve that particular mystery. Uh, let's ask. 
Hello. Knock, I'm in knock. handcuffs, but please open up. I'm still not over the fact that she thinks that the frickin' islands are floating. <laughs> I'm, I understand, like, this. it's just mind-boggling, because I've never heard it described that way before. Uh, no answer. I remember, I don't remember which island I was on. It, it was in, like, the Caribbean, like, Jamaica or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember, like, so we were... Um, it was when I was translating for cruise ships. Um, and I remember we pulled into port. And so I got off for a couple of hours. Um, I had the day off. And I had this couple flag me down because they'd asked, they, I'd done some translation for them um, a little mm -hmm. bit earlier. And they asked me about like how the island, how the captain knew where the islands were because if they were floating, wouldn't they be in different places? And I literally had to sit down and tell these people that like, islands aren't like the, there's a bottom like it mm -hmm. it anchors down <laughs> like they're not just floating in the ocean so uh, <laughs> this is still is. apparently a misconception today um <laughs> my soul is gonna leave my body <laughs> how i have no idea <laughs> i think <laughs> Guys, it's the same. Broken. It's the same thing with people thinking the Earth is fucking flat. Like, ah, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> the other thing that yes. I remember hearing was um, someone, and granted, this was a long, long, long time ago, but um, mm -hmm. someone I remember asked if you could swim if you had like enough air, so like a scuba tank or something. Could you swim under Australia? And no. I was like, no. <laughs> <The fuck? laughs> Oh. oh so yeah um <laughs> oh my god we have a cultured person on the chat my brain said this is it and thought the song still made from death not the musical i love that <laughs> thank you thank you for listening to that <sighs> glorious soundtrack anyway <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm suffering uh, <laughs> we're out of luck it seems there's no one in there to help with our inquiries how annoying I had to be in a wardrobe all this time oh <laughs> someone yeah. screamed what was that it came from inside the cabin uh... it came from inside the house <laughs> such a high pitched scream it must have been a woman you know that scene? Stand aside! Are you assuming <laughs> their gender? Oh, no. Oh, no. I am about to break the door down! Mr. Sholmes! Oh, boy! <laughs> your boy, yes! <laughs> Mr. Sholmes! Yes, me, your boy! <sighs> I shan't be stopped when the fit is on me! I revel in kicking doors off the hinges! I'm already tired. <laughs> <laughs> I said one sentence to so I. Uh, please wait, Mr. Sholmes. Uh, the door doesn't appear to be bolted. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure that door opens out, not in. <laughs> oh, shit. That's even worse. It doesn't. Then how did... Deuce, can I dispatch the muscular urge to pray kick? Can I kick it? Kicking uh, hey. is a hobby of mine. Well, it, you've been on trips with me, so you know, like, I get the urge to, like, kick things and, you know, <laughs> like, if I see something that just wants to, like, tip over, I want to tip it over. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. So, like, this is the one time I'm hoping that our brains will be in sync. Because uh, <laughs> if I've been told I can kick down a door, then hell yeah, I want to kick down a door. Um, <laughs> I, I think we should go in. There's no time to think about stress relief. <laughs> they said it's cat brain. <laughs> Yes, that's the best way to describe this. I do kind of have cat brain. <laughs> 9th of January, SS Budias, first class cabin number two. Oh, hello. Those what? are scissors. Ah! A scissor uh, oh, we probably need uh, a coin who, to toss. Who are you? Okay, Lemur can take it. 
A Western gentleman? This oh. man looks Russian to me. We we heard a woman scream. A woman? Don't be absurd. As you can see, there's nobody in this cabin uh, but me in this cabin. It's I don't know why he has it. Russian <laughs> accent, but I want him to. He's the one who dieted the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> True, this old man does appear to be the only person in here. But in that case, who just screamed? This is truly a gym situation, if you've seen uh, Our Flag Means Death. Um, <laughs> get out, all of you, now. I would highly recommend watching Our Flag Means Death. It's great. Gay pirates. <laughs> Gay pirates! <laughs> I have not watched Dang. it. I cannot endorse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm just obnoxious. Sponsored <laughs> by Lieber. I... <laughs> Please excuse the intrusion, but you're Mr. Grimsy Raylot, I believe. Da, mm. that, that's me. And you are? Not your mother, I can assure you. <laughs> I am the one, <laughs> the only, the actual Herlock Sherms. You've heard of me, no doubt. No. <laughs> well, <geez>. I guess. <laughs> just being an asshole, and I was I right. Just the... No. No. <laughs> I am a great detective among great detectives. One who adorns and revers in popular magazines, no less. Mm, must be nice. <laughs> so I assure you, you may trust me completely. The man nah, uses I don't the, think so. The man uses that magazine like a business card. I watch Go Kaiser for gay pirates. A detective. Yeah. Mm, I do not trust detectives. As you probably Ew. shouldn't. Please. Especially that one. Trust me, <laughs> the one in handcuffs. <laughs> you distinctly heard a scream emanating from within these walls. I was practicing woman voice. <laughs> but... There would appear to be a lady concealing herself within the wardrobe this time. Oh, oh. scandalous. <laughs> so I might be so bold to ask you to open the small traveling cage. Yeah, I don't think she's in there. I don't think a woman no. can. <laughs> what, what women do you watch that can contort their body in Especially that? in this day and age, like, she's dressed properly. Like, she's wearing a lot of skirts, man. Like, what? Are you wearing that damn petticoat. Anyway, uh, don't be stupid. How could anyone fit in small trunk like that? It's detective brain. <laughs> small traveling case that can fit snake, perhaps. Mm, maybe. Mm. That's who screamed the snake. <laughs> the snake, the snake. <laughs> well, it is quite fashionable of these days, is it not? Traveling inside one's trunk? Don't look at me. It is you I'm looking at. Um, th the Plus. fuck? The case just oh. moved. Okay, well, what? now I missed we... that. Okay. Oh my, did you see that, Mr. Notterholdo? Yeah! The case just shook! I'm shook. I'm oh, okay. Shook. I caught it in the <laughs> in the lag. Uh, leave now, otherwise I'll call Stuart. So, this is Kazuma's neighbor. Mr. Grimsby Royalot. Grim Grims Grimsby? What is that pun? Um, there's no doubt about it. This strange Russian man is hiding something. He did it! I couldn't agree more. Let's see if we can find some clues before that brutal, that burly sailor returns. The brutally sailor. Can I talk to you? He's holding sharp scissors, oh. therefore he killed him. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Rolla, we'd like to talk to you about something. No. <laughs> oh. I do not want to talk. Leave cabin now. <sighs> This is going terribly. You think? We're not getting anywhere here. 
I agree. But there may be someone else who can help. What is he doing in there? <laughs> oh Nobody my god. To know. <laughs> uh, perhaps that uh, great detective could get somewhere with Mr. Roylet. Apparently Grimsley Roylet isn't a pun. It's a character from the original Speckled Band story. Oh, good to hmm. know. Um, do you have a moment, please, Mr. Sholmes? No. I'm going to regret this immediately. <laughs> oh, you need only Atrospius. Sholmes! That's what I just did, isn't it? Well, um, Mr. Sholmes, what were you doing in there? Hmm. Why? I was resting, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> resting? Indeed. I was contemplating our sea voyage from the core lines of the wardrobe whilst waiting. Waiting for the inevitable, the inevitable, yes, inevitable time that you would need to call my great powers of detection into services. No, I, I need you to talk to this guy because you were possibly the most annoying person we've ever talked to. <laughs> oh. And it would seem that the hours upon us, the time has come. Rejoice! Am I mistaken? Well, um... No, actually, you're spot on. For once. I am always spot. Observe closely. <laughs> Our Russian hostess in the cabin, Mr. Roylott, is clearly trying to hide something. No oh. shit, Sherlock. <laughs> and do you know it's actually her luck thank you yeah. <laughs> and so do you know what is the most effective weapon to use against a Russian hiding a secret paper oh? rock <laughs> yes spiders no why the truth of course they hate hearing that Though it should be pointed on that such methods are not exclusively for the Russians. Right. Um, can you imagine how the Russian will react when the secret, when the secret he guards so closely is exposed? Ooh. Would you like to witness it? I have a feeling this is about to go off the rails, so sure. Oh, yes, please. Hell freaking tastic. Well then, what are you about to what you are about to see might well astound you. For I am about to apply my great detective, greatly admired, great deduction to the case. We're gonna die. We're gonna die today. Hmm. Could this be a more hackneyed portrayal of dubious Russian, I asked you? What? <laughs> Apparently he's gonna do this right in front of this guy. <laughs> From time to time, it occurs to idiot. me. He's gonna get stabbed. It's gonna be funny. No, okay. <laughs> Is the fellow dubious on account of his Russianness, or Russian on account of his dubiousness? Ooh. I I don't think that's how that works. Uh, I I really don't think either of those things should be occurring to you, or anyone. Uh, that's right, in Mister Sholmes. Uh, I know this man's beard and dark glasses are hard to ignore, especially on first meeting, but I once read. Uh, it's a capital mistake to theorize before you have the evidence. It biases the judgment. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, it went blurry again. Uh <laughs> Shh, I must have complete silence. 
No. Knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> the one time he's quiet. Thank God. Mm. <laughs> the, what are you doing? Why are you peering at my face like that? Mm -hmm. Because, do you have a map? I keep getting lost in your eyes. Oh. <laughs> in your eyes that uh, I can't see behind your dark glasses. <laughs> yes. Ah, just as I thought. Yes, I have quite made up my mind now. Hmm? There can be no other explanation that accommodates all these facts. Mr. Roylot, I have reached two incontrovertible conclusions. What? What do you mean? Eh, well, number one. <laughs> your true identity is that of a villain. Hmm. Using those shares, you are about to end the existence of something most dear. Are you not? <laughs> huh? Uh, well, that was sussy. Hmm. And number two, the other conclusion I have drawn. You are... At this very moment, no less in the midst of committing a most grievous crime! Beneath that beard, your mouth quivers with nervous tension as you realize you have been discovered! Does it not? There's something in the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Oh, Narahoto-san, I never imagined I would witness one of Mr. Shum's great deductions with my own eyes. That was a great deduction. Nothing can deceive Mr. Shum's. I think a lot of things can, but... <laughs> <laughs> In a single glance, he can deduce all there is to know about a person. What?! What ineffable like. twaddle! Twaddle. Uh, oh yes, I've read about it countless times in The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes. And now I've experienced the astonishing impact of his great deductions firsthand. It's like a dream come true. Wow, that was cute. <laughs> that was very cute. I can hardly believe it, but all of the color has drained from Mr. Roylet's face. It looks like somehow both of Mr. Sholmes' conclusions were right. How, how could you? How could I possibly know such things, you wish to say? Ooh. Very well, then. I shall... Elucidate. I shall explain how I it was that I arrived at this pair of conclusions. So, do I cordially invite you upon a journey of logical discovery? Let us board the train of reasoning. Put plainly, let us work through the deductions together. A great deduction. The game is afoot. <laughs> afoot. All right. Topic one: old man's identity. So the dubious-looking Russian, Mister Roy, not obviously what catches the eye of the in the first place. So oh, they can read today. <laughs> well, where's? <laughs> wait, where did this spotlight come from? <laughs> There's an enormous pair of shares in your hands. Now we ask ourselves, what could you possibly want with such an implement? The answer, of course, is staring in the face. Your face! <laughs> you were on the verge of using these shears to cut away a copious beard, you spot. 
<laughs> now, moving on. <laughs> Possess. <laughs> the question then is this why would you desire to rid of yourself of this magnificent beard Mr. Oilot once again the answer is plain we have clear evidence uh, to shed light on the matter <laughs> again plain I made a rhyme <laughs> regard <laughs> Regard, if you will, this morning's newspaper. In particular, the fascinating front page article, perhaps. Mm. Ah, which it appears you have read also, Mr. Roylott. I'm sure it needs no further clarification. The evidence that reveals your true identity is the article about the revolutionary. In translation, the headline reads, Revolutionary Villain Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Ah, oh, did you like my entrance? That was very swag. <laughs> As you cannot fail to observe, the object of the article possesses an extremely copious beard. So much swagger, I, I'm just beside myself. Having noted the article yourself, you decided to remove the incrementing facial hair before you gave it, it gave you away, sorry, it. In short, your true identity is beyond a doubt. You are the fearsome Russian revolutionary himself, Bilin Borshevik. I thought I was the fearsome Russian lo Russian revolutionary himself. Yeah, I but I changed my I mind. No. <laughs> Not that I've heard of you myself, you understand. Alright, the conclusion was a revolutionary on the run. Interesting. Uh, for topic two, okay. wrongdoing. Uh, this man makes me so tired. <laughs> Yeah, exhausted. Now, as for my second conclusion, you are at this very moment on the brink of committing a most grievous crime. Ooh. And the proof of this crime over there! Oh, yes, Mr. Roylott. Taken unawares, people have pro. pro Propensity, yes, to let their eyes stray, you see. Ah. <laughs> and I assure you, the eyes speak so much more eloquently and honestly than the mouth. The answer we seek lies where the furative glance fails. The proof of your crimes is before our very eyes, yes! The troubling case! It is time, I think, that the case be opened and the contents laid bare. Uh, no, I refuse. Well, too bad, honey boo boo cakes. <laughs> what, what could you possibly be concealing inside, you ask? Um, by my estimation. A young lady, perhaps. <laughs> one slight enough, one slight enough to fit in their reign. How dare you carry around a four-year-old? Don't be a. Oh wait, that's not me. Oh. <laughs> well, don't be absurd. Letting her eyes stray reminded me of May looking at the notebook and turning red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what, pray, would be the identity of this young lady in the traveling case? Dear me. We are not well suited in a life of crime, are we? You careless coup d'etat. Coup, coup de <laughs> what is that? Coup d'etat. <laughs> coup d'etat. Yes, coup d'etat. Coup d'etat, good sir. Anyway, uh, we are not. Suited to a life of crime. Yes, Kudale, betrayed. Yeah. Once again, we need to follow your furtive glance to find I figured I'd save you from having to say it three more times. Yes. 
I am not well versed in whatever that is. <laughs> Le France. I, 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 what's it's, it Italian? It's a, no, it's, it means an evil act, basically. <laughs> oh, I am learning today. Yay. <laughs> yes, the reason you refuse to open your traveling case can equally be found in the pages of this newspaper. <laughs> For there is another most stimulating article. Very steamy. If we turn to the fleeting revolutionary on the back page, you will see a Garfield comic. <laughs> no. Oh. Renowned <laughs> prima ballerina of the Novenich Ballet disappears from Shanghai. That's, such that's a, actually who you're talking to, you dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> such a headline can lead us to no, but one conclusion. Ah, your crime. Is that of abduction? That he was a Russian revolutionary. And according to, please don't interrupt me. I'm on my uh, I am on my juice, as they say. And according to the article, the young lady's name is Nikolina Pavlova. Oh, I did it. All right, Except so I didn't. <laughs> on the topic of wrongdoing, he kidnapped a young ballerina. Apparently, makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Roy Lott, I was hiding Brittany bitch in that case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brittany bitch is back. Okay. <laughs> Thus concludes her like Sherms. Great introduction of this Russian enigma. Damarinsky. Mm. I hope I said that right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the Sato song? That wasn't one of the great deductions I've been hearing so much about. Was it? No, oh, that was a, that was what we call a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> In this business. Well, um, the stories are full of Mr. Sholmes's brilliant deductions, you know. Don't you know? <laughs> but that did seem a little different somehow. Um, excuse me, Mr. Sholmes, could you come over here a moment? Maybe, please. Aha, pray. What can I do for you? It's about your deductions. Would you mind? Not at all. Go on. Well, to start with, there's the newspaper article. I think we had the same discussion before, but... These two men look nothing like each other. <laughs> oh, ah, yes. I recall our discussion earlier, and at the time, I believe I told you that the man is a revolutionary, well able to revolutionize his own appearance. In fairness to Mr. Sholmes, Mr. Rylott does look more like this man than you do. That's not the point. And another thing, the part about him abducting the ballerina? Indeed, a truly startling revelation, yes. At first glance, the case would appear to be small and accommodate a young woman. Uh, not just at first glance, it is too small, clearly. You'd be lucky to fit a five-year-old child into that case, even if you pushed, like, really hard. Brittany bitch will never be stopped. <laughs> I don't suppose the missing ballerina is a five-year-old child, is she? You mean you don't know? No, the young lady is 15! Uh, no, I didn't know. How could I? Hmm. Well, if she's 15, then 10 years worth of her would be Poking out of that case. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> mm, some years ago, I read something pertinent, I believe. A troop of men consuming vinegar daily in order to promote a certain litheness in their bodies. 
Vinegar? Yes. For such a sour bunch, it would surely be a simplicity itself to contort oneself into the confines of a small case, like a clown! <laughs> In a car. Uh, oh dear, you might be thinking of the contortionists in the circus, Mr. Sholmes. Ugh, this whole thing is turning into a circus. My Brittany Spear? <laughs> Mr. Horodo, Jesus, Naruhodo, something occurred to me about Mr. Sholmes' deductions just now. I think his powers of observation are, well, magical. Were we watching the same I thing? <laughs> <laughs> no. Home homegirl thinks islands float. <laughs> um, Homegirl, why? I, <laughs> I think his powers of observation are, well, magical. Uh, his eyes cut to the heart of the matter almost instantly. Uh, it's just where he directs his attention and logic that seems a little off. Your idea of a little might be a little off itself, Mrs. Sato. It's just one or two keywords in his deductions that seem to let him down. One or two. One or two. <laughs> so I was wondering if we might perhaps tactfully switch them for alternatives. What do you think? Hmm. Switch some keywords in his deductions? Yes, but very tactfully. I feel sure if we, uh, if we could do that, we'd unlock the true genius of Mr. Sholmes' great deduction. Oh, precisely! The, th the thought that was going through my own mind! This man is a lot of work. Work, work, baby. At times, I wonder how many, how anyone puts up with me. <laughs> it's not that funny. Oh, ah, you, my good fellow. My Sorry. bro, my dude. Take a moment to look at your wrists. My wrists? I have not forgotten that I have handcuffs. Oh! Oh, you do not anymore. Uh, where are your handcuffs? Huh? How, how did... Huh? Hmm, I felt they may hinder your ability for, to follow me in our dance of deduction. Oh I, I don't believe it. Believe it? Like Naruto? Ooh, way too, too early. <laughs> too early. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes, you are a marvel. A marvel, yes. <laughs> and don't you worry, I shall restore the shackles to your wrists when we are finished. I can point to my heart's content, yay! Um, I'm not worried. In fact, I'd actually rather stay like this. <laughs> I have sure. a thing about not being shackled. Yeah, weird. Um... <laughs> Let us begin, unshackled Sorry. boy. This is not the kinky thing that I was hoping was going to happen in that uh, room. We'll just put it that way. Um. <laughs> Herlock Sholmes is proud to present Logic and Reasoning Spectacular. Oh, All right. Course correction. Hold it, Mr. Sholmes. Wow. Topic one, the old man's identity. The conclusion was a revolutionary on the run. <laughs> I think this, is, this is definitely like repeated. Yeah. Okay. From what I said the first time, so yeah, we can. I will. Like... Uh, I will save you from having to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Enormous pair of shears. What would you like, want yep, with shears? The Hands are staring in the face. Also, Chad is saying they just remembered to say from her luck, Sholmes, one of the other names that Arsene Lupin books changed. Holmes for copyright was Hall Homelock Shears. Yeah. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Would you really use shears like that to cut off a beard? Mm, I doubt that's something I'll ever have to worry about. It doesn't <gasps> quite sit right with me, though. Uh, 
Uh, it doesn't seem to be sitting right with Mr. Roylott either. Which means, I suppose, that the deduction is wrong. Let's try to switch a key word here, Naruhoto san, and see if it helps matters. Alright, but how? I think we should start by taking a long, hard look at Mr. Rylot. I wonder if it's really his beard that he intended to use those shears on. Exactly. If we do manage to find something that seems to fit the sense of Mr. Sholm's deduction better... Then what? Then I'll leave the rest to your capable hands, naruhoto san Uh, why am I the one to do something about this? Uh, well, anyway, let's see if there's anything we could even use to switch around in that last sentence. What exactly was Mr. Roylott really going to use those enormous shears for? Alright, what was the old man really about to cut? Okay, nope, I did not want to go from that angle. Um, oh. oh. He has oh. some Goldilocks. What the, what the... What's this? Uh, it looks like a cascade of stunning golden locks. No, no, no. The color is not the point. The point is, what's it doing on the back of Mr. Roylott's head? And how is it growing out from underneath his thick black hair? Believe. This is a new back growth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, yes, that's true. So it's definitely beautiful and stunningly surprising. Okay, something's definitely not right here. You know what? Let's present it. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's fancy. <laughs> he gets to do the thing now. <laughs> you were on the verge of using the shears to cut away the golden locks you sport. Indeed. You have identified the precise detail that I was intending to expose. Uh-huh. Such lush golden hair certainly does not befit an old man. You're not a man at all. You're a woman. And judging from the length and sheen of your hair... One still very much in her youth. Uh, if only I had managed to cut off my hair, no one would have suspected. Well, al no one almost suspected, so... <laughs> <laughs> the question then begs this. Why would you desire to rid yourself of these magnificent locks? Once again, the answer is plain. We have clear evidence to shed light on this matter. I'm sure it needs no further clarification. The evidence that r reveals your true identity is the article about the revolutionary. Well, that was a shock. I had no idea that old man was really a woman in disguise. Did you? What? Why are you staring at me like that? Yes, it was a surprise, Narahodo san. Uh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Uh, sorry? Uh, you look, you look like you're in your element as you dance around the room de deducing the facts with Mr. Sherlock, with Mr. Sholmes. Uh, I'm just, okay. I'm just doing what we agreed. I'm, I'm, I'm not having fun or anything. This is strictly yeah. business. Now come... Uh, yes, yes, I understand. Say no more. Well, anyway, let's focus on this next part of Mr. Sholmes' deduction, shall we? The evidence that he's picked out doesn't fit the facts at all now. No, that's true, given the that Mr. Roylott's actually a woman. Exactly. He, or rather she, can't possibly be this merciless revolutionary. Uh, I suppose it's because the deduction as a whole has taken a different direction now. Yeah. yeah. 
let's switch the evidence for something else. Something that fits the facts as we now understand them. For some reason, this woman needed to try to hide her true identity. I feel as though I've either read or heard about a young woman in a situation like that just recently. Like three minutes ago. Alright, I'll do my best. Alright. Uh, Apparently we need to uh, take a look at it. Hmm, this is interesting. Have you found something relevant, Naruhoto-san? Well, no, I, I I mean, it looks like it might be interesting. I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I. But look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beautiful young Russian princess, do you think? Uh, she's very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, do you? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't make any sense of it. Ah, oh, I'm afraid you have noticed this article. I, I'm glad. <laughs> Man. Ah. Allow me to give you a short summary of its contents. Oh, uh, thank you. He pops up everywhere, this Mr. Sholmes. Especially right next to me. It is about a disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned prima ballerina of the Novavik Ballet disappears from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlova. Why are Russian names so hard to remember? It would appear the woman was in costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room. Wearing the diamond tiara you see pictured, which is worth some 20,000 rubles. Oh, um, how much is 20,000 rubles? Ew, a bit. Uh, I have no idea, but I'm quite sure. It must be an unbelievable sum of money. Susato-san's eyes are shining like diamonds themselves. Ah, the tiara is the property of the Novik Ballet. It would seem the director is beside herself with worry. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Ah, the company is anxious to recover both Miss Pavlova and the valuable tiara. Mm, they've requested international assistance at all ports with sailings to Great Britain. Could this be another case of Russian, a Russian fleeing their country? <laughs> it does seem to be the Russian thing to do. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, Mr. Naruhoto. Alright. So now we have the proper evidence. Now we can present it. Hey, Maverick, come here. Hi, Mav. No. Nope. He left. What? Nope. Oh, <laughs> That's good. The evidence oh, okay. that reveals your true identity is, of course, the article about the ballerina. Oh, that's right. You've hit the nail on the head. <sighs> Renowned prima ballerina of the Novavik Ballet disappears from Shanghai. It would appear we finally were able to address you by your real true name. Yes, because your true identity is that of the Novavik Ballet of the Novavik Ballet's prima ballerina. Miss Nikolina Pavlova. And there they go. Ooh. Oh, shit. That's a... Uh... That was terrifying. Yikes. Here we go. It's like the mass Singer. Take <laughs> it off. Take it off. 
Oh my god. It's this girl. The coat just all of a sudden fits her now. Yeah. yeah well, that's weird. Uh, you're right. My real name is Dina. I mean, Nikolina Pavlova. There's a dessert named after you, ma'am. <laughs> um, Which came first, the lady or the dessert? Um, <laughs> sir. Well, in the real thing, uh, the lady did because it is named after a Russian ballerina. Anyway, oh, uh, oh. yeah, it's a it's an actual dessert. Um, a pavlova is a like a crispy kind of meringue base mm -hmm. with citrus fruits on top of it. Yum, that sounds tasty. Yeah, that sounds good. But I think <sighs> there's a Try Guys video about it. Um, but yeah, it's named after a Russian ballerina. She. She did something, and then they named a dessert after her. I don't remember exactly what she did. Um, <laughs> it was ballerina. Yeah. But, uh, but please, I beg you, don't tell anyone. Maverick, do not do that. <laughs> yeah. He can smell. So um, Finn, his birthday is tomorrow. He's going to be four. And I bought them special treats, and Maverick can smell them, and he's trying to eat them. <laughs> oh, buddy, not for you. Like not, it's not special K. Like <laughs> no. <blood. laughs> All right. You are at the very moment at the brink of committing stuff. Yeah. The crime, the proof of the crime is in apparently the, the case. The proof is in the pudding, or in this case, the pavlova. <laughs> <laughs> I remember them making pavlovas on the Great British Baking Show because I've watched every season probably more times than is appropriate mm -hmm. um i need to get on that train you do fun. i love it it's so good it's like it's what i really want cooking shows to be like in america because like it's actually like they're supportive and nice to each other exactly Aww. and there's no like it's actual like... gameplay portion yeah. of it like you bake like, yeah, bad you go home yeah, they say like they they're competitive <laughs> with each other, but it's not to the point where like, you know, like they're calling each other bitches. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Like I, I am like I'm between, you know, I'm in two camps. I either want it to be the Great British Baking Show or I just want them to be total bitches to each other like what was it Cutthroat Kitchen or whatever it was that was hosted Elsie by Elton Kitchen. Brown. See, I want it yeah, I I want it to be like Great British Bake Off or uh or breaking well yeah sorry uh or like gordon ramsay specifically yeah, Hell's kitchen. Hell's kitchen, yeah. kitchen yeah just anything with gordon ramsay i love that he treats the children well and he tears the the adults <laughs> apart i love that man we stand. We stand. all right this woman is the ballerina and she's right in front of our eyes so clearly she can't be inside that traveling case as well clearly <laughs> No, that's right. It seems she wasn't abducted at all. Hmm. In which case, <laughs> what is the crime this young woman is apparently committing? Uh, I can see I'm going to have to step in and fix the great detective's mistake again. You seem to look pleased, Narohodo san. Uh, do you like the idea of another chance to dance around with Mr. Sholmes? Stop it. Anyway, <laughs> there must be something else Stop here Get some help. <laughs> that shows what this woman is up to. Alright, what did she glance at? Oh. Maverick. Oh. <gasps> Lady, oh, you are doing the worst at hiding your crimes. Yeah. You've been here for how long now? Um. <laughs> wow. Look at this dazzling tiara. Uh, I never see anything like it. Are those real diamonds, do you think? <laughs> oh, Narahodo-san, try it on. What? Me? Isn't it usually girls who wear tiaras? Wouldn't you like to try it on? Oh no, I couldn't possibly. It's far too beautiful. Why does this tiara look familiar? I feel like I've seen it somewhere recently. Like, again, two minutes ago.
The proof of your crime is surely this tiara. Huh. I believe this tiara was worn on stage by dancers in the Novavik Ballet, is it not? Mm, yes, indeed. It would appear to be identical to the tiara pictured here in the newspaper article. And if the report is to be believed, then an item worth 20,000 rubles. In summary, the crime you've committed is theft. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Mm, yeah, oh yes, you left your ballet troupe on Lovely taking their precious tiara with you. What a bitch. <laughs> Finn, you're back. Finn, I can tell you that chat says happy birthday. Yay, happy birthday. Entire... <laughs> He's fighting with his brother now. He's just living his dream. Um... <laughs> I have no one, no family, no friends. I am alone, and I need money. It's a little match girl. <laughs> I did not steal tiara. That was weird. Um, it was a present from how do you say an Earl of Prussia? It, it belongs to me. This girl is only fifteen years old, and she's run away all by herself. She must have been extremely lonely. Let's make friends. Yay, friendship. But the other stowaway. <sighs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it will tell you everything. There's no point to hiding it now. Oh, come, come. Let us not be hasty. Jesus. Sorry, <laughs> that sounds like a demon in my kitchen. Uh, it's just, the, it's just my children fighting. Um, but mm, there remains one unsolved mystery about you. Mystery? What? What do you mean? What's under your hat? Can it fly away like that other lady? <laughs> You have socially refused to open the traveling case of yours in our prisons. It is reasonably concluded, therefore, that there exists some reason why you wish to remain it unclosed. Uh, closed, actually, yes. Is that not so, Miss Pavlova? Um. My dear girl, there's no sense in playing games with me. Nothing escapes my attention. Except for the my tiara thin. that was sitting on the desk? <laughs> Indeed, I have very good idea of the contents of your case, even before I have laid eyes on them. Oh, God. Dear me. We are not well suited to a life of crime, are we? Right, Your careless today to, to the <laughs> yeah. All right, Dale. what's he gonna say? It is. Yes, the reason you refuse to open the case is written on the books on the shelf. Well, he's completely changed tack with his deduction now. I think Mr. Shums is adapting his logic to the changing circumstances, don't you? Uh, well, maybe, but why has he suddenly brought the bookshelf into all this? It's just a wild guess, surely. Oh, do you think so? Well, it doesn't seem likely that the reason why this young woman doesn't want to open her case would have been written in a book that doesn't even belong to her. Yes, that's true, but still. Miss Pavlova certainly did cast her eyes in that direction. I noticed it myself. 
then there has to be another reason why she won't open her case. And it must be somewhere in the same area if that's where her gaze was involuntarily drawn. I agree. It's the only answer. Whatever she has hidden inside that case should be revealed by following her gaze in the direction of the bookshelf. When did the rules of passage say again? This is the rule of passage for travel aboard the SS Bura. Uh, passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. Hmm. There was exactly Look. the same notice in our cabin, too. I wonder what happens if you break the rules. Die. <laughs> <laughs> in Mother Russia, when you break rule, you get thrown overboard. <laughs> you break rule, bre rule breaks you. Yeah. yeah. The rule breaks you. It gets fucked. <laughs> uh, oh dear. I'm sure the punishment would be severe, Naruhoto san. Uh, you'd probably be left to drill in the freezing cold ocean. Finn. Oh, that's Maverick. Maverick. <laughs> Come here. Uh, or shut inside a tiny wardrobe for days on end. So, I've actually been serving time for weeks now, have I? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna guess that it's that she has yes. something moving around in that case. Yes, the reason why you refuse to open your case is written in the rules of passage. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. Mm, inside of the case of yours is something forbidden from the carriage on this vessel. That is the real reason why you refuse to open it, thus revealing its contents. Juicy contents. It's a Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Uh, <laughs> As we've seen, the trunk wobbles from time to time, but no weapon or other dangerous item would move of its own accord. I think Beverly Hills Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Which leaves but one possibility. Well, yeah. The Pavlova inside your traveling cave. It's definitely not too well. Look, it's just the predecessor to the, uh... The <laughs> thing and like, the dog inside the handbag, like... Yeah. <laughs> in Russia, we have snake in the handbag. <laughs> is the last, is last wow, item is listed, the listed of... as forbidden, forbidden in the Brussels... Vessel's rule of a passage. Pet. Pet. Yeah, we, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to do that in tandem, but that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> nope. Ah! Uh. My hands feel though. <laughs> Woo! Yay! We did it, y'all. We did it! We did Deduction it. complete. Yay. Elementary. Elementary, my dear. Watson. No, he's dead. Yeah. He dead <laughs> My dad, Wilson. My dad, Wilson. <laughs> so, clearly, you aren't who you said you were. Clearly. No, I am not Grimsby Roylott. Grimsby. My real name is Nikolina Pavlova. I've told you this already. <laughs> Everything you said was correct. Mm, you absconded during one of your ballet company's performances in order to escape your homeland. Mm, later that same night, you stole aboard this vessel. Which couldn't have been easy. The Buria is a huge steamship with a vast crew. Could she really have snuck on board without being noticed? Well, ballerinas have very tiny tippy toes, like, you know, like... <laughs> anyway, in order to obscure your true identity, you somewhat recklessly took the guise of no gentleman. And you intended to sever all links with your past by severing your long hair. Girl, you could have just tucked it under your collar. 
it's more symbolic that. to cut it off. I mean, it is, but... Yet, to a woman, hair is no trifling matter. I remember every time I used to cut my hair short, like, someone would ask me if I'd just gone through a breakup. <laughs> no! It's called being edgy. That's what my excuse is. <laughs> it, it's called my hair is heavy. <laughs> and sometimes I don't want to deal with that shit. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I used to get, like, big-ass headaches when my hair was, like, super-duper long. And then I just cut it off, I'm like, freedom! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit, this is what freedom feels like! <laughs> anyway, my personal recommendation is to leave it well alone. So, if it was just you about to cut off your own hair, who was it that let out the scream we heard from outside the cabin? Without veritable thinking, tinging, tingling of a bell? Why, none other than this young lady, naturally. Uh, more like a full probably. set of pipes, if you ask me. Oh, shit, they're barking. Um, <laughs> I was so scared when I ran away in Shanghai. I was sure they would come looking for me. It's called having my Mulan moment. Yeah, really. I did too. How would you say disguise myself? Uh, disgust myself? Uh, so no one would recognize me. Transform yourself into that questionable old man, I, I see. I had some fake beard. Then just before you came in here, I saw the newspaper. Right on the page, there was a picture of me. Still try to yell for my dogs to get in the house. God damn. Do you want me to take over for... Or do you want one of us to take over while you... Yeah, can you take over so I can uh, lock the yeah. door so they can't get back out? Uh, I was so frightened, I couldn't stop from screaming. I knew that if I didn't change my appearances completely, they would find me. So I decided to cut all my hair as fastly as possible. I picked up the scissors in my hand and... At that precise moment, we walked through the annoyingly unlocked cabin door. Things happen like that sometimes, don't they? Things do indeed happen like that from time to time. Are those two even talking about the same thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's just one more thing I'd like to know. What exactly do you have inside your traveling case? Beverly Hills Chihuahua. <laughs> you were right. It is my dear friend inside. My only friend in the whole world. Please, don't tell anyone. If the captain finds out, if you say to any of the crew... I'm back. Okay, welcome back. Hey. Mm, your secret is safe with us, I assure you, but in return... I want a Beverly Hills Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> you must tell us in much detail as you can muster about the events of last night. Yes, all right. I'll tell you. Well, Mr. Naruho, though? Wasn't it something? Mr. Hershom's uh, great deduction? It was more DIY than anything, but um, it was <laughs> certainly something, yes. I'm just not entirely sure what. But... At least Miss Pavlova has agreed to tell us what she knows. That's incredible. Yeah, indeed, it is incredible. No one <laughs> asked you. Ah, and one more thing. Oh, yes? What? Observe your wrists. My... Damn it. Wow. How do we not notice? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> How? It's not the second time this has happened to us that we were just <laughs> completely unaware that something changed. 
Ah, your hands, they're cuffed again. What? But, 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 but how? I was free. True to my word, I have restored your shackles. Uh, when? And why? No. Reasons. Uh, there's still a shadow of guilt cast over you, Mr. Naruhodo. Sorry to say, I can't, it can't be helped at the moment. Huh. Can't it? Really? Anyway, let's listen to what Miss Pavlova has to say. I can't go on not knowing. I have to find out what the speckled man that Kazuma Sama wrote about in his diary really was. All right, we, I think, um, this is a good place to end yes, for tonight. Yes, I'm very tired, please. That's fine. <laughs> also, I don't know why, but you won't believe what song was stuck in my head during all this. <laughs> what? <laughs> live and learn. <laughs> I crush from me. <laughs> so I was just like, live and learn. <laughs> Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. Anyway. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, next stream is Thursday, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Um, sounds like we'll be doing Danganronpa because you're out, yep. correct? Bill. Yes. Listen, okay, I'm not the I one think. who decided I needed to do these Thursday things, <laughs> but I have to be there. Okay. Again, we will just know that you like us better. Um. Yeah. <laughs> we can much be, rather be here. We can be petty. <laughs> internally petty. Oh, there is no internal petty for me. It is just full petty. Um, <laughs> external petty. I, external. I am petty and I will make it everyone else's problem. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I am clearly an icon here. Um, <laughs> so we'll be you doing... Bloody cherry Kellogg's, whatever the fuck. Yeah, really. I mean, strawberry, whatever. <laughs> Uh, so uh, we'll do our next stream it'll be Danganronpa um, and I assume that Sunday will probably be Danganronpa as well because that's kind of what we've been doing but uh, watch out um... it'll also be Easter oh it will be won't it Happy yes Easter, I never uh, keep track of it well if you need that's a, okay. if anyone needs an excuse to skip Easter um, obviously I will not be <laughs> celebrating so uh... yeah <laughs> fair so um i guess for those of you who only watch for this uh kind of team stream um you know happy easter that is that's how you'd say it right like happy easter y yes yeah <laughs> well have a happy easter i hope you find lots of rabbits or eggs or eggs okay eggs um <laughs> rabbit eggs yeah. where the fuck did the rabbit come in uh well okay there's two ways that you can look at it there is the uh you know the the way that uh christianity took over the uh whatever pagan holiday was right around here um and then also the story i was told as a child was that the egg represents jesus's tomb except for instead of not finding a dead body you find candy Bunny. What the fuck? That is the fuck. <laughs> what is going on? And why there's a rabbit is no is no is still a mystery to me. Like now, like what? this is the horrible part of me. So you know, like for those of you who still have any like hope that I'm a good person underneath this, <laughs> is going to remove it all. Um, but aren't those like little wafer thingies supposed to be like the body of Christ or whatever? Yeah, for communion. Yeah. Like they need to start putting those inside the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> like that Why? seems to me the correct amount of symbolism symbol well, and then there could be little there. like little things of a uh, wine too so exactly you, got the blood too. you know like it, get one of those yeah. you know the little shot bottles of you know yeah. alcohol empty that out put the wine in um because i don't ever remember seeing wine in a little shot glass but you know like you know i'm sure they make it probably like i'm sure that exists 
So, you know, like, honestly, if they want to stick to an actual theme, that's what they should put inside of it instead of candy. Because right now it sort of sounds like Jesus was a pinata. But, um, (laughs) absolutely no disrespect meant whatsoever. But, um, I cannot unsee it. I think we broke. I do this occasionally. Uh- <laughs> no, Maverick, I'm fine. <laughs> now we just have Pinata Jesus in our <laughs> Enjoy, <laughs> yes. So celebrate Pinata Jesus this coming Sunday. <laughs> Happy Pinata Jesus, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Crack him open and all your sins have been forgiven. <laughs> I did not expect this today, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> no one ever expects Pinata Jesus. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, look. You gotta know what it looks like from the outside, is all I'm trying to say. Uh, Dude, <laughs> you're right. Uh, well, hopefully you get lots of candy, right? Yeah. Or is that just a Halloween thing? Like, are you supposed I... to get the candy? Is that a good thing? Yeah, you get you okay. get a bunny. You get a chocolate bunny. I always get a white chocolate bunny. And then, um, you know, well, like uh, when I was in high school, I used to give up a uh, soda for Lent. So then I would get a like a pack of soda because Lent was over. I forgot to give something. <laughs> well, um, I... it sounds like you have until Sunday to give something up um, <laughs> uh... and then get it back. Not 100 <laughs> percent how it works, but if that's how you want to do it, that's fine. <laughs> Look, at this point, I'm apparently making up my own rules here. Uh... <laughs> Same. First, we turn Jesus into a pinata. No, we wait till the. Last Someone is going to take this stream completely out of context, though. I don't think the context necessarily makes it any better. But um, <laughs> like, I someone is going to blow this up. Uh, this is We're the so shit that we're going fun. to go viral for: is pinata Jesus, um, <laughs> Maverick. Don't be weird. Uh... All right, so um, I'm going to, you know, just tell you happy Easter, get lots of candy, get a chocolate bunny, um, all of that yeah. stuff. Um, yeah. If you want to watch a stream, um, I will be running one, whether it's solo or with someone else, um, as a way to top off your Easter. Um, or if you don't celebrate Easter like me and you just want to chill, I'll be here. Um, but, yeah. um, and then we should be back Tuesday as a full stream. Oh, dealing with this man again. Um, <laughs> I'm already tired. It's a week away and I'm already tired. Uh, Imagine playing the bloke. I know. Like, I'm fully aware that I'm complaining just being around him. And uh, This is like the continuation of Old Bag almost. Except yeah. for the fact that, like, he has more lines than Old Bag did. Although, I, I don't know, technically, if you put whatever lines she had that we couldn't read fast enough to say um <laughs> yeah true. Uh, like this is that same kind of obnoxious um <laughs> i like this guy though he has no brain cells and i appreciate yeah. that i mean he has no brain cells i also seem to have no brain cells so <laughs> yeah. we have solidarity he here vibe <laughs> Uh, Alright, so, uh, anyone got any announcements before we wrap up? Um... Obviously, do not let me talk anymore tonight. Um... <laughs> happy birthday, Finn! Yeah, yeah happy birthday, Finn! Yeah! Happy birthday, Finn. Uh, other than that, my dog, yes, yeah, my dog's turning four. Have a good night. <laughs> have a good night, bye! We love you, bye! All right. Good night, sleep well, happy Easter, um, and we'll see you guys later this week! Be good people. Bye. Yeah, eat.